Welcome to another special edition of the Home Growers Gardening Series brought to you by Private Property. And today we're going to be talking about the Tower Hydroponic System with CAS, um, just to let us know how the system works. Uh, slightly similar to the NFT Hydro system that we aired last week, but I believe this one is um, obviously much smaller, it's vertical, and CAS, Tower Hydroponics, so we're definitely seeing a tower in front of us. How does this one work as opposed to the NFT Hydro 60 pocket system? Okay, so very simply, as you've explained it quite well actually. <laughs> so the nice thing about this, yeah. it's for smaller space. Okay. It's, I think it's well suited to somebody that wants to get into hydroponics for the first time. Yeah. That has never experienced it, but they know and they've heard lots about it and they mm -hmm. want to learn. So I would highly recommend that the first time user, something like this is spectacular yeah. and you can grow almost anything in it. There's nothing preventing you from what you can grow because yeah. the mere design of it, you know, but the, the size of it is 20 pockets. Okay. So you've got 20 different vegetables that will grow in your herbs and vegetables. So mm. you're not restricted. So you cannot believe what will come out of this. Mm. You know, and as I said, so by makeup of the design, so if you look at this, you've got all these pockets here, you've got 16 pockets all down the side. Right. And you've got and the four. More here. And yeah. the four on the corners. So if you look at it, and I'm gonna try and explain, if you see the structure, you've got depth in the reservoir okay. versus individual depth where the pockets will go. So if we take a net cups as an example, they're gonna basically plonk into the sides of yeah. the uh, of this horizontal, uh, sorry, this vertical tower. Yeah. And um, these guys will sap up the nutrients from the water. But I'll explain how the water gets there firstly. Mm. But bef before we get to the water uh, distribution, if you look at your pockets that are in the left hand or the right hand corners of this reservoir, okay. they are ideal for the, the deeper rooting vegetables that grow. So for example, if you can picture a tomato bush growing, now, as you've seen with tomatoes, the root system is quite aggressive. It's got a big, big rooting system that mm. loves to take over. Mm. So you've got depth here. So if you had a picture that you see this massive root system growing, is ideal for tomatoes, okay. eggplants, and the like. But you can put anything in there, but chilies growing, yeah. you name it, versus on the uh, tower, tower itself. But it'll do well. So let's get the system colored up with um, some crops. Okay. Um, so what are we doing? We've got our seedlings here. We've got our pebbles here. We've got our cups as well, and we have some of our nutrients. So let's say I've just purchased this system, where do I start? So there's water inside the reservoir, okay. and what you're gonna do is the nutrients obviously inside there as well. Okay. And we basically then take all our vegetables, or herbs. Yes, that and we these have. firstly are the nutrients. Those right? are the nutrients, correct. So do you put in one whole bottle no, inside no. or is it teaspoons? So in your kit that we give you, we yeah. give you a calibrated bottle okay. which has got a line marking on it oh. and you only fill to that level and then the rest of your water, you shake it up and you pour that solution that you would have created into from this, this into the reservoir. Got it. Simple as that. It is really that easy. Right. The trick here, which I highly suggest is that and recommend, is that the corner units go with the bigger plants. So like here you've got some tomatoes. Tomatoes okay. and the chilies I would definitely put in the in the corners. So your basil can go in there. So let's just find your tomatoes and your chilies, which is always a fantastic option it's to put in. Tomato. That's a tomato that is beautiful. Great. And the reason why I put them in the corners is that if you because remember these guys grow pretty big, right? Yes. That what you want to do is you want to give them support. So you can use alternate structures to give this whole system support. Yeah. And the structure can be either bamboo and you okay. can use string or tape just to hold the bamboo rods in the corners Got that it. the plant will grow against that. So you want to give it the easiest and the best mechanism of success from the beginning. So you need a plan. So you've got to look at this and go, so, okay, in three months time or two months time, how is my beautiful Plant tower hydroponic going to look? Yeah. So it's point is putting this guy up there <laughs> or whatever it is, or yeah. put your tomato here and it grows like that, blocking mm. all of these. So that's the, the, the challenge here in terms of where you want to get to. So here I'd put like, for example, there you've got aubergine eggplants. So you want to put that on the top. Um, okay. Your beautiful basils can go anywhere. Your, your yeah. chilies I'll even put on the side here because there's a bit of space for them to grow on the corner side there. Okay. And then we just start filling up the rest with all the different herbs. You take a whole variety of what you have to, to, to display and get this thing set up. It is really very simple. And as the little pebbles start falling out, the clay pebbles, don't stress about I'm it. Getting just worried. pick them up. Yeah. No, don't worry about that. <laughs> then we just put them in afterwards. So okay. then once we switch this on and you'll see the water will start flowing, 
it'll be remarkable. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fill the top here with some clay pebbles. And I've still got that uh, extra bag that I kept aside, yep. which I'm going to use just to fill up the clay pebbles on the top. Because remember, right. that is the mechanism that when the water starts to uh, run through that sensor pipe, it's going to hit these clay pebbles and it's going to break up and it's literally going to rain down on the veg and the herbs that you've got inside here. Making it rain. I That's like right. the sound of that. <laughs> and, here, and let me tell you, people come through and they go, ah, oh, that is amazing. This is like a water feature. I mean, it's amazing. I sit in my house and I hear this water trickling. Mm. It is so soothing. It is really something very special. So we've got that. We're now going to plug this in and okay. you're going to see something special happen. There we oh, go. Yeah. Hear the, you can hear the water. You can hear already. the water. And then if we open that and you have a look inside there, you can see oh, the water's wow. already dropping, dropping through there. So it is actually making it rain, sprinkling, that's right. you know, onto the... And that's the rich with nutrients already, and you can see through there how incredible Absolutely. that is. Absolutely. And that is the magic of a tower hydroponic system. Well, there you have it. This is the tower hydroponic system. 20 pocket hydroponic system to be exact if you missed this episode you could catch it on our youtube channel and also contact home growers and follow their facebook page because i do know that they give a lot of product information or um, on what goes around these different growing systems but i really hope that you enjoyed the episode as much as i did thank you so much for watching catch us next time on the gardening series with private property in partnership with home growers see you then